Hello everyone. Today, I will introduce the operation of the user interface and particularly wall touchpad Trivium 7 inches and its capability to control music as good as KNX commands and IPCC TV. User interface is very simple. When music is off, you have a simple clock, very useful when you wake up during the night and need to know what time it is. Outward appearance, as you can see, it's also a simplistic line with an aluminum contour of 11 millimeters. Touchpad, also simple. A wall box is provided for a simple installation onto the walls. The back of the touchpad is magnetic, so very easy to install with the box associated. On the upper left corner, you'll find the name of the actual zone where you are. Touch it and you will obtain the complete list of all zones available on the installation. The group button allows to create groups with several zones to stream music onto these different zones at the same time. You can also preset groups. For now, I select only the media room zone. I have selected my music zone. I can now stream several sources depending on the music controller I have. For example, the tuner with some preset for the preferred frequencies. I can also stream music controller physical inputs, for example, an iPod or a TV. These inputs are associated to a specific zone by default, but you can, of course, stream them to all other different zones by grouping them with the main zone associated to this physical input. The next source is the stream source and the most interesting for us. In this one, we can find online music streaming services such as Tidal, Deezer, Cubas, Spotify, and Tunolin. Under music services, we have all the streaming services configured in my music controller. We can find in each all the playlists created by me or family members. Let's take an example with Deezer. Here, for example, is a playlist that I have created in loved tracks. You can also search for artists, albums, tracks, or playlists. For example, I'm searching for Queen, and I have a choice to play now, add actual list, add it to Trivium favorite, etc. As you can see, you have a lot of possibilities. I decided to choose play now. Suspension points at the top of the screen give me access to different options for the music that I'm listening to. For example, the possibility to add this track to Trivium or Deezer's favorites. To group with My Living Room Zone, it's very easy. Just press on the name of the zone and press group to select the streaming zones. Even if you can't note in this video the synchronization between the two zones, trust me when I say that the two zones are perfectly synchronized. There is no latency between the two of them. For title services, I won't make a demonstration. It works just like Deezer. Trivium is also compatible with Spotify Connect. This means that Trivium zones are available directly in Spotify app on your smartphone or iPad. And you can stream music from Spotify to Trivium easily this way, but you need a paid subscription. You can also stream local music 
form ANAS. In the same manner as the online music service, you can select music by searching playlist, titles, artists, tracks, or albums. It's very useful for places where you don't have a correct internet connection. But with the development of internet and the increase of bandwidth, I think in the next years, more and more people will use the online services. With these services, you have a very large music library available. This is not the case if you use your personal library. With AirPlay support, you will have all the zones available on your device. A real advantage. With AirPlay, most of the time you cannot group several zones. With Trivium, you can. Simply create a group with Trivium app or touchpad and then send music to the main zone of this group with your iDevice. With this touchpad, you can control music, but you can also control KNX system and visualize IP CCTV. For KNX, you need a KNX slash IP router to work with Trivium. Eight pages are available with for each one several widget and a different size for each widget for lighting, HVAC, or blinds control. Once you click on a thumbnail, you have access to complete control of this widget with a pop-up window. KNX variables are not available in this video because you will see the complete KNX integration in a future video. This touchpad is, in my opinion, not really a control system for a whole home, but more a remote for a single room. For example, I'd see it in a room to control music in this one and control also all the KNX elements in this specific room. In conclusion, a very good product from Trivium. It's a little too bad that we don't have a real RJ45 socket instead of this connector. If you don't want to buy the touchpad, you can however use an iOS and Android app or simply enter the URL in a web browser. User interface will be exactly the same on each. iPad app offers several different options like alarms, standby settings, direct access to setting pages, etc. With the iPad, however, you don't have access to the embedded KNX widgets. In the next video, I will introduce the controller and the settings of the system and the touchpad. Finally, in a third video, I will introduce the KNX settings and integration on the KNX side and on the Trivium side. Stay connected.